are you a frustrated parent you are frustrated because of your child's amount of screen time screen addiction or if you are a teacher and you find some of your students often absent in the class have poor grades distracted or sleepy in the class very much tech savvy and love to talk about gadgets and various apps and uh, their parents complaining about their amount of screen time if your answers are yes then this session is for you hello and welcome this is dr farzana begum i'm a educator researcher academician humanitarian or global goodwill ambassador and a freelance content developer for nursing health and social science wings i have more than 20 years of teaching experience in nursing field and i have published more than 35 articles in various uh, national and international journals here i am with you to discuss about the role and responsibility of parents and teachers to establish proper technology use behavior among the children so we will discuss here how digitalization impacting children's life what are the underlying causes of increased amount of screen time why the teens teenagers are vulnerable and need special attention how to incorporate proper technology use behavior among the children in our digital culture world according to various reports and researches the amount of screen time is increasing rapidly among all the age groups it is also proved that obsession to internet is significantly altering the brain's perception for internet use and to the device individuals are so much dependent that they are anxious when they are offline internet gives a sense of connectivity and also a source of entertainment it facilitates the users to relieve their stress and pass their free time on it people staying online almost all the time when working when sleeping even when cooking or uh, even on the go when um, walking on the road all the time psychiatrists believe that internet addiction is becoming one of the biggest non drug addiction in the next century children get approval from their parents for internet use for academic purpose but license to use internet for academic purpose provides opportunity to access other online activities prolong online stay discourages children to take part in various healthful activities which carry developmental value to physical and mental health a better brain can be developed in a better environment if the childhood problems are not handled carefully they will be evident in adolescent period similarly if the adolescent problems are not handled properly they will be evident at adulthood the parents and teachers can do a lot to generate healthy adults by encouraging positive behavior promoting good thinking skill helping the child to get lots of sleep and strengthening positive brain connection now let us see why, how this increased amount of screen time that impacting our health it is quite common that when someone looking at a screen digital screen is either in a sitting or lying down position this means that spending more time on screen is also spending more sedentary life being in front of the screen also leads to more 
mindlessly snack. We prefer to munching potato chips or taking cokes like that, which can increase the risk for obesity along with chronic issues like heart disease, diabetes mellitus. Studies have revealed that limited amount of screen time leads to reduced childhood obesity. If using any digital screen before bedtime, the blue light that is emitted that disrupts the body's natural melatonin hormone production. Melatonin it is produced by the pineal gland that is situated in the brain and controls the body's internal clock, that biological clock that is called circadian rhythm. And it naturally responsive to light. The level of melatonin increase as the sun sets and remain at that increased state till night and it starts to fall again as the sun rises. This hormone reduction helps the body's natural rhythmic wake up due to the natural sunlight. Studies have found that the blue light that is emitted from the digital screen, computer, mobile phone, all that, that is closely correlated to those from sunlight. Therefore, using any screen prior to bedtime disrupt the body's production of this natural bedtime hormone, melatonin, which makes the brain to believe that it is still daytime and making it is hard to fall asleep. Inadequate sleep can affect the behavior and performance of the day. Looking at digital screen for long hours can put a lot of strain on neck muscles and at the spine leading to slump posture, pain and stiffness in the neck. Studies have found that spending more time using screens were more likely to report having headache, backache than less frequent screen users. Digital eye strain may occur due to too much time staring at digital screen and may result dry eye, blurring of vision. It also lowers the amount of time spent connecting with others. The term social media is actually misleading. People, they're spending more time on social media and not connecting with real person. Individuals withdraw from the social, social activities like I, and uh, they prefer isolation more, poor participation in group activity, lack of interest in social gathering. They often skip mail rather than eating healthy balanced meal they eat food that is quick to prepare and usually unhealthy people have low frustration tolerance level irritable aggressive abusive poor time management as maximum time spending online poor work performance loss of job due to poor performance incomplete assignment Difficulty in focusing in work, utilizing the office hour for other non-purposeful online search. High amount of screen time also can significantly affect someone's mental health, such as anxiety, depression. So this is how the increased amount of screen time affecting our psychological health and social life. Now, what are the factors responsible for increasing the amount of screen time? Some of the factors may be the 24 into 7 availability of easy and cheap, inexpensive, unlimited internet data, having low mood, low confidence, nervousness, sad mood, feeling of loneliness, boredom, need for excitement and experimentation as staying online is very funny and engaging because internet facilitated gaming, chatting on social networking site, 
online shopping, pornography, etc. It provides a secure feelings because of the anonymity and it also provides an arena for sexual exploration. Search for identity. The people, they like to interact with others independently and the internet facilitate this need. Internet helps in maintaining the romantic relationship by sharing photographs, video calling, etc. Then being shy, introvert or extrovert. This type of people, they need for recognition and approval and the internet provides that. It facilitates that poor interpersonal relationship and family support, absence of supervision during the free time. Sometimes maybe because of both parents are working or single parents. Then why teenagers or adolescents they need to be focused? Teenagers or teens, these are the person whose age range between 13 to 19 years of age. And the number ending with the suffix teen. The World Health Organization defines adolescent as the people between the age group of 10 to 19 years. In this age group, this is a very uh, delicate time period. This time they need supervision, highly they need supervision because this is a crucial time of career building. If parents, they, they will not give attention in this age group to their children, then they, it may cause severe damage to their career, again, which will be difficult to uh, manage. A cheerful, loving and obedient child suddenly becomes frustrating in his 10 and 13 years of age. And most of us think that teens' life is shaped by factors like family, friends, school and community. But there are powerful neurological changes take place. Not only the hormones, but also change in the activity, the anatomy, and the neurochemistry of the brain changes occur in this time, in this age period. Children's brain are already about 90 to 95 percent of adult size by the time they reach six. But their brain still needs a lot of remodeling before it can function as an adult brain. This brain remodeling takes place massively during the teenage and continuing up to the child's mid-twenties. The main change is that unused connection in the thinking and processing part of the brain, they are pruned, pruned and pruned away means removed. At the same time, other connections are strengthened. This is the way brain becoming more efficient. It is based on the principle either use it or lose it. So along with the millions of new synapses, myelination of the neuron also takes place. Thus the speed of the connections become faster. The pruning process begins in the hind brain first and followed by the prefrontal cortex remodeled at the last. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for decision making, planning, thinking about the consequences of action, problem solving, organization of multiple tasks, impulse inhibition, self-control, setting goals, setting priorities, initiating appropriate behavior, making sound judgment, forming strategy, adjusting behavior when situation changes, insight and control of impulses. Because of the prefrontal cortex is still developing, teenagers, they lacking all the functions of it and thus might depend on the amygdala 
it is a part of the brain which is associated with emotion impulses aggression and instinctive behavior to make decision and solve problem more than adults do so as the unused connections between the neuron being pruned and other frequently used connections are strengthened the combination of the child's brain and environmental influences brings a lot of changes in terms of behavior thinking and all other cognitive activities which remain forever during the adult phase for example the child's preferred activities and skills might become hardwired in the brain so it's worth needed to think about the range of activities and experiences required to shape the child's brain to take into a healthy adulthood now on the other hand the parents of the children they are also struggling being very stressful parents they try to restrict their children's time spent on digital screen but for one or the other reason nothing work they often are frustrated stressed scared angry and depressed they have no energy left and thus just want to give up parents start self blaming for not doing enough with their children and for allowing them to be addicted to the internet and digital screen they may so anger sometime such as snatching away the gadget abruptly turning off the home wifi connection verbal and physical abuse in certain situation parents may feel helpless fatigue and demoralized when all their efforts come to failure so what parents can do they can set rules they can monitor the children and participate so how let us see some of the uh, strategy or tips that may work so parents should set clear time management goal with the children make the children clear that their other activities should not suffer because of their online activities help the children structure their daily routine like school and uh, meal time sports club religious participation etc fix time slot for all the daily activity like sleep time wake time meal time bath time study time exercise time everything instruct the children to make a list of items that they want to search online to avoid unwanted search practice no technology during meal during driving and when talking to someone in person during sleep parents should know what their children are doing online review the rating of the games no m rated mature rated games for the teens it may contain intense violence blood sexual content strong language etc if a child has a large amount of pornography his or her parent may need to seek professional help be mindful of the sources of pornography if a teen has received pornography from another person he or she may be at risk for abuse so talk with children about the risk of sexting remind them that there is no guarantee that a picture or post shared with someone else will remain private understand the range of technology that adolescents are exposed to inside and outside of the home learn what appropriate technology use is by the age and stage of child development co view co play and actively discuss digital media start a conversation about media and technology use at home and explain why family disapproves 
of certain online behavior set clear technology use rules that are specific to your child create limits on the amount of use and uh, the content what are the content they are using specific sites create open non judgmental lines of communication children should feel comfortable coming to parents with their problem and uh, they should experience um, what are the problem they are facing or experiencing offline and online remind children that what they do online affect their reputation and their future talk about the need to protect privacy online use technology to find useful information and to engage in fun and productive sharing with family and friends follow workstation ergonomics avoid prolonged sitting with any digital media take regular computer break in every 20 minutes get up from the computer at regular interval use an alarm as reminder that it is time to go and see what the other family member doing in the next room follow the 20 20 20 rule take 20 second break in every 20 minute interval and see objects 20 feet away like sky window all that adjust the computer software such as ensuring that the font size screen display and uh, as per the visual need of the user prevent computer vision syndrome by keeping a distance of about 45 cm from the monitor adjust brightness and contrast properly blink consciously while working on the computer computer chair must be adjustable with arm rest and full back support keep back straight and upright height of the chair should be so adjusted that the eyes should focus at the middle of the monitor table height must be 29 inch above the floor use keyboard mouse by wearing wrist guard place the keyboard at elbow height keep the wrist straight shoulder and arm in a relaxed position and close to the body try to increase the physical activity level add some exercise to daily routine help the children to develop some non digital hobbies like painting swimming gardening cooking outdoor sports etc create offline environment for the children that include plenty of exercise parent child activities family time meditation etc follow healthy eating habit uh, eat green leafy vegetable fresh fruit avoid eating junk food then take food regularly and timely don't skip meals avoid sitting in front of tv computer drinking coke or munching potato chips eat a healthy diet with all kind of nutritional supplement to avoid obesity establish a regular sleep schedule both sleep time and wake time fix your sleep and wake time follow daily routine of activities stop television or computer use one hour before going to bed as the light inhibit sleep onset remember no late night logins set some rules like lights out technology of gathering all the phones in a central place at night create a comfortable cool dark sleep environment establish a relaxing habit at bed time like meditation take some warm uh, milk take warm bath before bed avoid taking large meal caffeine excessive fluid in the evening or before bed time take protection against the electromagnetic radiation hazard keep some distance from the computer accessories use earphone or other measures of hand free to keep distance from the smartphone 
instruct the children to turn off notifications set or schedule to manually check email and social media once every 2 hours or so focus on the studies keep computer somewhere in house where people other people uh, they can means they will walk by so they can tell to get up turn the computer off and store it out of sight when it's not in use practice stress management technique meditation relaxation etc identify and get treatment for the underlying issues contributing to the addiction or anxiety depression anything have family time and make all family members sit together try to take at least one meal with all family member do yoga meditation together use this time to connect with each other watch tv together play some indoor games together so coping with teenage transition teenage or adolescent phase this is a very crucial period it is a transition period from um, a childhood to adulthood or from a phase uh, in which there are many physical changes and psychological changes are occurring so the child is uh, struggling during this transitional phase so how to cope up with this uh, teens between this age 13 to 19 years old they go through stage known as identity versus role confusion the online world is a viable option for the youth to seek out their self identity they may use the internet as a platform to establish a sense of self and experiment with different role and behavior so there is a, a struggle happen like dependency versus independency so being a child they were dependent and when they reach to adulthood they become independent so this phase this adolescent phase or teenage in this phase they are struggling between these dependency and independency so adolescents it is a period when they become very much confused about their role childhood versus adulthood phase parents sometimes consider them as child and sometime adult teens no longer interested in parents approval for all sort of things they want to take decision by their own in some point of time and if they are not allowed to do so they become frustrated irritated and they are uh, start a strained relationship with their parents the some amount of liberty should be given to the children or teenagers so that they can develop a sense of confidence in handling things and develop problem solving skill give suggestions and help them identifying various possible solution to the problem discuss with them various possible consequences that may occur then in this transitional phase teenagers also hunting for identity so never embarrass or scold the children in front of the strangers it harms their dignity and self confidence help the children to develop a sense of responsibility and decision making ability assign some kind of household responsibility like deposit the electric bill or phone bill purchasing of uh, some household item like that discuss with them the family budget so that they also come to know the family income various long term short term goal heading for the expenses and thus control their uh, expenses and avoid unnecessary expenditure at the same time then sexual maturation this physical changes this again disturbing a lot uh, because of the hormonal uh, 
um, changes and uh, all that it has tremendous impact on the body and mind both adolescent is a time for sexual maturity and the onset of sexual activity they have the desire for experimentation they easily come across online sexual things and thus develop uncommitted sexual relations out of curiosity and to explore things express the values about school work alcohol drugs and sex clearly articulate the family and religious values regarding the sexual intercourse express that although sex is pleasurable young people should wait to initiate sex until they are in a mature loving and responsible relationship discuss that indulging in sexual act is a major decision careful analysis of the associated responsibilities and capability of entering into a commitments are necessary before undertaking such step make them understand that adolescent may not be the right age for sex as girls are not able to bear the burden of pregnancy physically mentally and emotionally boys are not in a position to shoulder the responsibility of fatherhood so make them understand all these facts now what teachers can do teachers of course can educate the, their students encourage them to follow a, a lifestyle with controlled uh, amount of digital screen and they also can support the children those are suffering any issues and to support them to develop such healthy activities or healthy routine because next to parents teachers are the most important influential person in a child's life or for a student for a children incorporating life skill education related to internet use at school level can help a lot to the children thus a structured education program for children and their parents through the teacher about life skill can develop help to make a balance between their lives with digital culture world teachers can conduct session for the parents to sensitize them to monitor, uh, monitor their children's screen time and online activity teachers can actively discuss about digital media and its proper handling they can conduct poster making competition among the student with the theme like technology use and its impact on life to explore their perspectives they can conduct group counseling or uh, uh, it also helps the student to realize that they are not alone there are other also selling in the same boat so they will not feel that uh, they are alone uh, having the issue teacher can counsel the individuals to understand their underlying causes of digital addiction and identify the best possible solution for that they can discuss about various tips to maintain healthy practices that has impact on their academic performances such as fix sleep time wake times uh, sleep for at least 8 hours at night fix other daily activities like bath time meal time etc follow computer ergonomics like maintain proper posture while using computer take regular break take water in between to maintain the hydration so this is what teachers can do one can use a match stick to light a lamp or light a fire for cooking it also can be used to light a fire that burns someone's house the match stick by itself is just a harmless object but in the hand of a mother lighting the lamp or cooking fire is beneficial the same math stick in the hand of a small careless child 
could prove to be fatal. Thus, every individual should learn to use digital culture smartly. How to handle the technology without affecting our own health. So, let's promise to handle technology smartly. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.